What is up, Madden 16 gamers, guys? Welcome back to another Madden 16 commentary. Guys, today we are bringing you our New England Patriots defensive guide and our Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, and I cannot wait to break it down uh, for you guys. But uh, this is a little preview for you, uh, show you what you're going to get uh, when you purchase your guide. Like I said, they're $5 a piece, really not that much. Uh, I think the guide is well worth your coin, and... Uh, as we get dot on the top unfortunately but uh, what we're talking here is we're talking simple simple defense you know simple simple basic setups basic pressures um, basic concepts that do work and that are really good and in my opinion guys I think this is a really underrated team uh, the Cleveland Browns in my opinion are the best team in Madden NFL 16 next to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, if you're looking for a team to use that not very many people are going to be using this year, the Cleveland Browns are pretty dang good. In my opinion, they they really do rival the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Here we'll stay down, and there, as you see, there's an interception for the defense. Defense gets a nice stop. We brought some pressure there off the edge and a good opening drive there for the defense. Now we're into the offense. Guys, the Cleveland Browns offense, in my opinion, also is very underrated this year. A lot of really good receivers that have really good catching traffic. There are four receivers on their team. If I, if memory serves me well, which it normally does, four uh, receivers on their team that can really be uh, solid receivers. Uh, they got Dwayne Bowe, Josh Gordon, and Madden. They might not have him in real life, but in Madden. And, of course, Johnny Football. And then, you know, the plethora of tight ends, which they have here. So we're going to open up with a little toss. Try to get out wide. I well, probably should have spun that back in. But, um, so we're going to hop into the single back bunch ace. This is our bread and butter. And let's see what we got halfback wise. I like this guy, Duke Johnson. And Johnny Football going to be running the offense for us today. Love that flat pass right there. I think it's really underrated. Um, as you see us get a big gain there for Duke. Uh, Dude Johnson. Nice gain. I like to put Gordon on the left and then Bo on the right. This is the mini scheme. Guys, you have access to this for free. Uh, this scheme we are showing right here. Uh, this is a free little mini scheme. We like to come out in opening. Uh, I like to open games with this just to see if they can handle it. In my opinion, this is one of the better schemes uh, that I've ever made and it's a couple it's just a really few little bitty plays here and there little quick throws and and that's really what it is I mean not too not too complicated right here with us being on the 21 yard line we're gonna try and score here on second long um, we're gonna come out run our passing play our FL drive okay, so we've broken this play down several times on our YouTube channel you guys can check several videos out that show this We'll throw a little quick pass out to Johnson. Again, this little swing pass, if they're going to give it to me, I will take it all game long. And then here we're going to show you our bread and butter short yardage formation this year. The single back jumbo pair. In my opinion, there is no better formation. When we're talking we want one yard, uh, this is really, really solid. And uh, really think that it's going to benefit you. Um, you know, I really like this formation here. Here Isaiah Crowell is going to push forward for a yard. Get a nice first down, set us up for a first down uh, in the red zone. Now we have a little mini scheme uh, as well for the red zone that we like to use, but I'm going to stick with the bunch ace just to see if he can handle it. Um, I like to come out in the inside zone split. We're talking red zone. But uh, anyway. Here in this situation, it's a decent look for the pitch. And we're going to try and take advantage of it, get outside, and get our speed back out there at wide. I love the pitch this year. I think it was really uh, something that we haven't really been able to do much, and we've got it back, and it really is effective, and just a lot of good signs here opening up. And Definitely like this look for the halfback slash, a little inside zone play. Don't hold turbo until you're through the hole because it does make guys block shed this year. Uh, EA must have done this in an attempt to stop the turbo uh, strong powers and turbo HB01 uh, traps and things like that. So definitely 
are looking to do that. Uh, here you're going to see in this situation, we're going to do a little motion out. And we got to hit Josh Gordon for a touchdown, a big time opening drive for the Browns. And a really nice drive by Johnny Football there. Some big time completions. Like I said, this jumbo pair is very effective in the red zone. And this is going to, cool part about this playbook is it does work well in mutt. The quick audibles you get are fairly decent. Uh, normally in Madden Ultimate Team, I'll stick with my shotgun or my single back bunch and my nickel 35 odd, but you'll see. In today's video that I'll use a multiplicity of formations like this jumbo pair or the spread or the bunch or whatever it may be. Uh, but here you see and watch this stretch work, get you to the edge, clear the edge and you're gone for six. A nice, nice drive, for opening drive there by the Browns after a good possession by the defense to get that pressure and uh, force that turnover. Uh, you know, there's a di and, and we approached the guide this year and I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, we approach the guide, and we approach it, uh, approaching defense a different way. Uh, you know, Madden, from your past, they, they tend to focus a lot on the pressure aspect of defense, but maybe not a lot on the coverage defense. Now, this is not to say we don't have pressure. We do have pressure, and we use pressure, and you're going to see pressure this, uh, this afternoon as we're, as we're showing this. But, uh, you know, pressure is not the only thing we do, and uh, I, I just think it is important uh, for us to notice that. And here we did get our setup in. For some reason, have some trouble getting my setup in. And we're gonna send that pressure. Got that nice gap heat coming right up the middle. So, you know, I just gave a big speech about coverage, and there you see we do have some pressure for you. And, and, and this is really at the heart of this. And you're gonna see here, uh, I, in my opinion, one of the best plays in the game right on this play right here and it's a play we've actually broken down for free but in my opinion you know with this guide and, and with some of the things we talk about in the guide makes it a lot better their double coverage and wow Julio Jones um, makes a really nice play there nothing much else we can say I mean just a great play by him and um, and couldn't get the setup in there Another nice user catch. This guy looks to be a zoo, abusing the seams. And we'll see what we can do to combat that. And here we are. Got a little false start action. Take us to the quarter. And so I really like this defense, guys. Just trying to focus on getting a stop here. Uh, what I found does a decent job at stopping those user catches. Here's your play action. They're going to throw it up. And there you see we got him thrown off his back foot because he is so worried about the pressure. We sent some pressure early, and now he's really got him thrown off his back foot now in this situation. See here, this is where we like to drop back, play some coverage, and uh, kind of see what we get here. But this is the... Uh, Like the user, we'll show you how to do all this in the guide. A little flat pass. Nice, nice juke. He's going to go in. Wow, what a play. What a play. Not much I can do about that one. Um, just a really nice play. We'll show you some, some red zone defense as well in the guide. Uh, if we ever get in a situation, you'll see some really nice red zone defense, in my opinion. Um, you know, this isn't, and this isn't a guy that you're going to get, you're not going to get shut out. You're, you're not. And, 
And that's just a simple fact, okay? You're not going to get a shutout every game, you know? Even the 85 Bears, you know, arguably the best defense of all time, didn't get shutouts every single game. But what you're going to get is you're going to get turnovers. What you're going to get is you're going to get pressure. You're going to get stops when you need it. And that's the heart of the defense. You know, the defense is, is something that really is going to be able to clamp down in those short yardage situations as well as, you know, those third down, those thir third down situations that are so important uh, to be good at, at winning at. And here you're going to see the uh, the bunch halfback strong. This formation, in my opinion, we you know it's very similar to the single back bunch mini scheme, but at the same time, it's also a very unique in and of itself. So we'll see what we can do from the bunch for you this morning, and uh, see what we've got. And there's Flash Gordon breaking tackles, big time. And what you're going to see in this guide, the way we've got it laid out, is we've got a lot of crossing patterns and a lot of West Coast philosophy type of plays. Um, but we do have some nice deep passes as well, uh, but we're really kind of going to lean on that aggressive catch technique. We've got a lot of rocket catching um, and things like that that you can do. Uh, to really make uh, you know offense effective for you, uh, but what we're looking for primarily out of our offense again reimagining how we play the game uh, is we're looking for that consistency. You know, are we consistent? Um, you know, with what we're getting here. And I just threw a pick. Oh, dang it! I hate when I screw up there. I just made a bad read. Using man coverage, and my guy just didn't beat his man. So really, just a poor read by me. If you don't make your read, I can't help you, and that's kind of the the idea here. So still working. And there's a pick. We dropped, we dropped it. Come on, Gilbert. It should have been an interception for us. And here, probably going to look at this streak off that left side. He's got a stretch, and you see the really dominating run defense at this. And with the Browns especially, this is a really dominating run defense uh, that we've got for you. So third and 11, we're going to pin our ears back, try to get some pressure, and uh, try to jump a play or two here or there. We gotta seriously. This game pisses me off sometimes. Gosh dang it! That should have been. Two. There's like 16 interceptions we should have had by now. So right there, I mean, he just threw a corner out and we didn't catch it. I mean, and and that's what we've seen a lot of this game is guys are in position and for whatever reason we just can't catch the ball. So. You know, I can't do anything about that. Like I said, all I can do is put my players in position. Offensively, i got to make better reads, and that's really what it comes down to this this game. And, it, you know, he's getting a lot of breaks, and, and we're just not. So there we there we had a poor return. And we're going to have to get back into our bread and butter just because, you know, we need a good drive here. So we're going to get back in the bread and butter, back in the bunch ace. And really, just kind of take what the defense gives us. And that's what I love about the bunch aces. And there you see, there it is. There's the spin move, and there's that inside zone breaking off another big run for us. And you saw it in the Mutt game. You see it again here. That inside zone, it makes big plays for you. And um, you know, I, I really like it. I really think it's good. It's effective. Uh, here we're gonna bring in Wes. He's our power back. And we're going to try and hit that stretch again, try to power it in for two points. Uh, I really like this. The cool part about the jumbo pair is you have that wide receiver out wide, so they have to kind of respect that and, and, and just a lot of things. And there we turboed a little too quickly, and we got shut down. We turboed as soon as we got the ball. We thought it was Madden 14, or, or excuse me, Madden 15. But So some frustrating little minor details we haven't been paying attention to is really come back to cost us and that's normally what happens with me personally 
is uh, I miss those minor details. I get the big stuff really good, but then those minor details. So we'll try to be better at that. Nickel 335 odd, hop back into it. It's the bread and butter of the defense by far. Strong power here, or a strong eye. And we're screaming off that edge there. You know, so good pressure. So he blocked the running back, and you notice the pressure still loops off that edge. Really important piece there because he did block several players on that play, and we ended up still getting some pressure at the quarterback. We're not sending very many guys, and so he had, he had it was more of a coverage sack, but uh, in reality, you know, a really nice one. So here we're going to hop in the cover three and try to take away some reads here. And there's Justin Gilbert getting in the zone, making plays on us. And now we've got him right where we want him. We know he's going to go for that rocket animation. And here we are going to pin back our ears and we are going to send some cheddar. I'm telling you right now we're going to get double edge pressure at the quarterback. And the pressure, and there you see the pressure come in off that edge. He blocked the running back, and that's important to note. He blocked the running back on that play, and we're still able to bring pressure. We're still able to get a guy free at the quarterback. In my opinion, this is some of the best pressure out this season. Able The ability to get pressure while they block running back is very hard this season, and you see we do it there, and we didn't thin very many guys. We still had guys in coverage, and he had to take the sack. There was nowhere for him to go. And now you see the defense really starting to dominate. And, you know, that single back bunch A's kind of bursted us in. Uh, here in this two-minute situation, I'm going to check down into my power running set. The Strong Eye Twins, in my opinion, one of the most underrated formations in the season. Haven't seen any videos posted about it, and I think it's very effective for your game this year. Let's start off with the power. Right down the gut, right down the pipe, Crowell. Isaiah Crowell. Um, a running back, you know, just said, very simple, very easy to use this 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 strong eye. And if if you're starting out with this scheme, I recommend you know the single back bunch ace to start. In my opinion, the best place to start is a single back bunch ace. Then I recommend this strong eye twins. It's a very close second, but in my opinion, it's very effective, especially for the beginner player uh, who needs a little bit you know easier plays in terms of how to read the defense. You know, we're going to be able to give you those plays. We're going to be able to teach you very simple how to read the defense, what you're looking for, things like that that are really going to help you out this year. And so I really, really believe in the Strong Eye Twins. I believe in what we're doing from it. I believe it's very hard to stop um, consistently, and you're going to see it's a very power-running formation. The interesting note about the Strong Eye Twins is that it actually has some decent passing plays that we can use to take advantage of what your defense might be doing to combat your running game. So here with 1 minute 28 to go. And here we're just going to play some mind games. Bring our guy in motion a couple steps here. Set up some of the things we're going to do. Passing the ball. There you see crowd power ahead for some more yards, and you're seeing easy running lanes for us. With the new running system in the game, it makes it very, very interesting how we're still able to do very well running the ball uh, and also maintaining integrity while passing the ball from this offense. There you see crowd once again powering and uh, getting good yardage for us. And what we're really looking to do here is clock him. I mean, that's really what we're doing. Uh, you know, it's a very simple concept, but it's very difficult when you actually do it, uh, when you do it good. And there you see Crowell breaking a couple of tackles for us, taking advantage of uh, his spin move and stiff arm ratings. And you see, you know, if you had, and, and you know, if you have a, a really good running back, you know, for example, uh, and here you see a nice look for the toss. We're going to auto to it quick. We're going to get it before he can get out there. And Crowell is going to power his way to another first down. Uh, in this situation, we're going to change it up. Everybody thinks we're going to throw the football. We're going to try a little quick pass here to the tight end. And what you're going to see is, see if we can't get it in. 
will snap it at five. And there you see a nice wide open tight end for a touchdown. Some very good running formations in combination with the pass this year. Arizona's playbook has had trouble having really dominant running packages. But for the first time, we have some very powerful packages that we can use to run the football out of while still maintaining integrity passing the football. A really, really nice formation and a really nice playbook from the Arizona Cardinals. Here we look to power through right with our halfback dive using our power back. Going for two points here. The offense so far, one turnover. The defense so far, really one one touchdown. And it was really considered my fault, but both were amazing plays by the, Hawk, the, the Hawks or the Falcons. Uh, and you see here, you know, going into halftime, one possession lead. We get the ball coming out, and uh, we can show you some of the mini schemes you're going to be able to use from this playbook. Like I said, there's countless tournament style schemes in here for you, and just you can do a lot with this playbook. And I really, really believe in it. Uh, there you see Benjamin kind of breaking some tackles for us. And like I said, you know, one of the interesting notes about this playbook is that you is the way that you can get to the way the personnel fits so well with it. And uh, and that's really at the heart as well as that when I was making this, I really thought about that. And um, here we try to make an aggressive catch with Bo. But unfortunately, we miss it. And like I said, this protects your quarterback, too. Um, you know, you can have some heavy passing games as well. You know, this, this formation is certainly, and this offense specifically, is not limited to, um, you know, great quarterbacks. But at the same time, you, you know, the better the quarterback, the better the offense will work. Uh, we like to use Johnny Football just because he's better, in my opinion, than, um, uh, than, than, other, than our other options here. There we hit Josh Gordon, and he drops it. Just flat out drops it for us. But you're going to see we can go to a variety of formations to do a variety of different things, and that's really at the heart. Like I said, when I was making this, I, 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 you know, I love the ability to go to any formation and feel confident. Um, where are you today? So here, use our. Nice, take an underneath pattern here. Now we'll go ahead and go for it just to show you some more of the offense because we haven't shown you much. Uh, again, we'll get back into the single back bunch for this situation just because I really like this play for, I, I really like the formation for this. So coming out in spacing, but we're really going to look to go half or the uh, FL drive. Menzel making some adjustments. And a nice catch over the middle. We may be an inch short. We'll go ahead and turn it over on downs. Um, interesting. You know, and, and like I said, we, we have pass heavy versions of this offense. Uh, with the Browns, I like to lean more towards, you know, a balanced attack and play more of a defensive style of a game. Uh, and and there you see the run stuffed. And I really that I really, really like the ability that we have to really blanket the run uh, in this in this game. Some of the plays we have just really do a good job of it. And here we got a little spot play. Let's see. Third and one. This situation. We'll see what he does. This is going to be interesting. Is he going to run it? He hasn't had any success, and he powers ahead, barely gets that first down. I didn't think he'd run it based off his tendencies in the, earlier in the game. Um, uh, you know, based on his tendencies in the, earlier in the game, we, we were able to deduct that he was probably going to throw it from there just because he hadn't had a lot of success. Ends up passing interesting here we're probably gonna get a pass see what we can do Z spot is what we're looking at here get a little screen pass a nice call by him and he'll get in for six so 
you know, we got a little bit of a game still uh, with some bad, you know, play management, play calling by me. First screen of the game, he busted it on me. Really good play by him. Uh, here, he's going to end up going for it, and we are going to bring some heavy pressure. We're going to get a chance to show you some of this goal line defense, and we hope it works. Been building it up. There you see the interception. Some really nice goal line defense from us right there. And I really, uh, you know, I'm sorry for not talking there, but again, this is a live commentary, and I definitely wanted to make sure I got that stop for you. You see some really nice goal line defense. Everything you wanted was covered. We had pressure coming. Um, really, really like that goal line defense. So, really happy. I'm really happy with the product, you know. Uh, like I said, you're not going to have uh, a ton of flat out shutouts I will be honest but you're gonna be really solid defensively I'm just gonna let you know and the cool part about the bunch ace is the the quick motion what I love about this is the ability to motion that tight end out wide there get a seal here a seal there and then run that toss and we're literally untouched for 20 we went untouched for 20 yards right there I mean that's about as good as you can ask for. That's about as good as you could ask for. You know, I mean, and I really love this play as well. This little bootleg. Let's see if we can't get dibs. Love this little motion out flat. I am Manziel just kind of overthrew it. I probably should have put a touch pass out there for him. Unfortunately, I got excited and some trinkets to the bunch ace and things you can do with it again. Um, you know, part of the part of the bunch ace will always be this FL drive play. And um, there's Dibs and Dibs is a really good play. Or excuse me, Bibs. Bibs is a really good under the radar tight end. Um, he's got some good speed. He's really like a receiver, uh, but he also has a you know enough blocking that he can really help us there as well. And uh, so here again, you're going to see this pitch. I love to flip it because you actually get better blocking on the left side of the formation because it's a tackle getting that seal out there for you, and if, and and the formation is weighted so much so, um, excuse me, to the other side of the field that it's very difficult to stop. And um, so. A little touch pass out there to Johnson. It's almost like a toss. It's almost like a freaking running play. Uh, and, and it's safe passes for Johnny Menzel. I love that. I love that about this offense. I, you know, I really, really like this offense, guys. Really like it. And I think that you will too once you get a, once you get a look into it. Uh, the cool part about it is that you can always fake things and manipulate and things like that. But here again, that toss to the left side is deadly. And I don't use it as much. It's probably the most I've ever used it in one game. But the running set from the bunch chase, really effective, really, really effective. And I think that you guys will really, will really appreciate it. So I can't wait to discuss some of these concepts in the guide. And there we fake the toss. We run downhill with Crowell. And just, I mean, if you get a chance, guys, look at the running statistics from this game alone. And you think you can't run the ball in Madden 16. Definitely have, definitely you can. There's Bo on the user catch. Solid. Love it. Really effective. I think we ended up maybe getting a quit. Uh, like I said, I feel like it's been a really dominating performance because we've been really able to move systematically with the football today. And their inside zone's eating up. We're going to bounce it outside with Crow and power our way for a nice first down there. Some lag going on, so I don't want to really throw the football in this situation. Um, well, I, I don't mind throwing it. I just really don't want to uh, I don't want to uh, throw user catches. In this situation, what I also like to do out of the spacing play is I'll motion dibs across. Place him on that zig pattern. Hopefully we ran out of time. And I'm just getting so into this game right now. I really like this offense, and I it's just simple. It's simple. It's little, little bitty chunks, but it's very difficult to stop, in my opinion. Here, he's not monitoring against that zone. 
We're going to try and power our way for a first down. Johnson gets his third or second or third touchdown on the day, on the day, and just a really nice. And here I want to show you this goal line play. I don't know if it'll work or not, um, but I do want to show it. I haven't been able to get it to work lately, um, but I do want to show it because I think it's effective uh, if it would work properly. And so the interesting part here is what we're looking for is if they press cover, which they are press covering, we're going to look to hit Bo. But they don't get out on him. And, oh, we got picked. Oh, we need to wrap up. So unfortunately, what I'm trying to get at here is if they press cover, we what we should have done there is we should have hit our underneath spot route. But we didn't. <laughs> but, um... It's an interesting read because it's very difficult for them to stop because they have to worry about it. Even though we don't necessarily will be able to hit him all the time, they'll have to worry about that motion out. So the defense gets to get back on the field. I really like when my defense is on the field. I, I feel really confident this year uh, in stopping, stopping opponents. And we'll see if we can get some of that pressure off that left edge. The cool part about the left edge pressure, and I'm just going to note this, is that we can really, uh, and you're seeing the, the kind of basic setups today because I don't want to show everything because we do have it in the guide. But the basic setups that you see uh, are really effective. Uh, are really effective, so. So, yep. That's what we're doing. Uh, we'll send some right edge heat here and just show it. Um, you have to block the halfback. Nice catch by Jones. And he Jones me. Wow, well, that is a... That is interesting. So having some trouble with the rocket catches, especially with Arizona, you know, and, and that's to be expected. To, or excuse me, uh, Hot Lana. Hot Lana is very effective, um, and it's it's they're tough. Uh, you see there, here we're gonna get a chance to show that red zone defense. And there we are playing the ball. Um, and here we go. So the offense is going to have to come out and make another drive, which is no problem. Cool part about these schemes, and I just want to note. Uh, is that they work well together. Um, the uh, the defense really, I mean, you have to be really, really good at rocket catching uh, and have really good rocket catch users to really, you know, to get what this guy is getting, you know. And I really, and I really truly believe that. You know, I'm not just saying that. And we can take that away if we want. I'm trying to show some pressure uh, because I do want to show you that I have it. Uh, when I get into teaching how the defense works, you're going to see that I don't run pressure as often as um, you know as you as you're seeing today. And the main reason for that is because of that. What you're seeing right now it leaves you vulnerable to those outside plays. And then here you see Johnson busting another pitch off that left edge. And, and just a really strong running performance, in my opinion, this year. And uh, it's just something that I want to show, um, not necessarily because what you're seeing here is I want to see, I want to show simplicity. I want to show effectiveness. You're seeing simple reads here, simple adjustments, easy throws for Johnny Football, um, and very difficult to stop, in my opinion. Very difficult to stop. So, again, it's just like a little toss play out there uh, on that swing pattern. You see it even counted as a run that time. 
and the reason we use it the reason we use it so frequently is because it makes them have to respect it. They're not going to blitz you if they have to be worried about the flats. And I'm, that's just from experience, guys. That's something you learn uh, over years of playing the game. Here we're looking to cut this back. And there you see Johnson fighting for that first down. Really good rushing performance, in my opinion. No, we're, we're doing really solid. All right, so in this situation... Try hitting Bo. There's that drag. And just simple. It's just simple. I mean, it really, you, you see the offense, and we'll show you some more pass heavy stuff, but in this situation, and, and that's really what we're getting at, this is a very streamlined scenario where we really need to, we really need to get streamlined. We really need to make, you know, good decisions. Um, and so that's why we're. That's why we're paying so much attention to it, uh, to the to the time management. Uh, what you're seeing here is the ability to really manage your time, and a nice run by Crowell. Uh, we ended up going down on purpose. Um, as you saw, I, I could have hit the right stick backwards to keep him up and go in for six, but we're trying to really manage our time here. And I love the ability, you know, with this offense to really control and dictate the pace. Um, you know, I've had offenses that are really effective and that really, you know, made me feel like Peyton Manning and, and then I could make all the reads on the field and that, you know, I could throw quick passes and foot passes and everything. But with this offense, I really feel in control uh, and I feel in control of the time. You see there, took my tackle on purpose, you know, and... Um, So, so I hope you guys are enjoying uh, what you're seeing from the offensive. I really feel like this has been a great performance uh, since the interception. You know, the interception was one thing. We made a poor read. Immediately we went back to our bread and butter. And, I mean, right now you're seeing some really good stuff. So. And then I love me some pistol, or, or excuse me, some single back bunch. Um, this twin tight end chief is another one uh, that really is good. And let me see if I can just show off here a little bit. And I'm going to try and throw a little quick pass here to get cute with it. And there you see Crowell, and he just dropped it. <laughs> Crowell just dropped it. And I, we'll go ahead and run it back for you. Uh, you know, because we do need to score a touchdown here. But um, and we could have scored right there, but I wanted to show off a little bit and show you. I'll show you it if we get to go for two. But uh, the twin tight end chief really adds another dimension entirely to this offense. Looking to the left, you see that you have nothing there. So we're going to motion dibs across, get him out wide, and there's you know three on one, and Johnson's just going to beat him to the corner every time. So really solid, in my opinion, offensively this game. I mean, we, we dropped 35. Um, you know, we did have that one turnover, but again, just, you know, this is my first game today, and I don't want to use it as – I shouldn't have even said that because people are going to think, oh, you're copping out. But, you know, this is my first game, and, and as you see, with the, the fluidity of the offense has improved as the game has gone on. And so, you know, here we'll show off and try to show this little quick pass. And there's Crowell, and he drops it again, <laughs> unfortunately for us. And I didn't. I got to check my running backs and see which one's the better catcher. I thought Crowell was, but that's why I left him there. But it may have been West. I'm not quite sure. Um, but like I said, the Browns this year, my opinion, really underrated team. Uh, Johnny Manziel is probably going to get better as the year goes on um, because he is a better player this year than he than he was before so so here you'll see the defense and and here I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take away his uh, his go-to stuff mainly just cuz I you know I need to stop I need to go in and get the win the rocket catch he's max protecting and there you see max protection we still get that pressure in there uh, for the sack so He's in, a he's in a really tough position here. What you're going to see me do right here is something I really like to do at the end of games, and that is send pressure and have deep coverage. Yeah, 
couldn't hit the setup in. See, because it forces them to take this underneath. See, forces them to take the underneath. Now we're in a situation where we have to kind of get out of it because of where he's at on the field. So I've created a cover four here. Going to Jones. Play the receiver. We got a nice pick. And that'll seal the game for us. So uh, there you saw it. There's the defense. There it is. Um, my opinion, really good. Uh, in my opinion, the offense is even better. Uh, actually, no. Let me let me rephrase it. I think the defense is a little better than the offense uh, because I really think that the, I really, 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 truly, truly, truly believe that the the I form twins in combination with the strong twins. In combination with the I Pro, is is very difficult to stop, even if you are a beginner. There you see Bo, and see if they go one on one. See the running game forces them to have to go one on one, and you see it here. We'll show some running plays. Crowd getting stuffed here. Let me let me call a timeout. I'll show you one more. Um, I'll show you a play we've been working on from the bunch. It's one of my favorite plays from it. It's similar to the play that we run out of the single back bunch ace. And here it's probably going to be nice because it's one on one. And there's Bo. Catching it for a big gain there, and that's the game. Offense was in position to score once again. If I would have taken a timeout, we would have put in Fortiburger on him. Defense got really, you know, got two turnovers, I think, two takeaways. Uh, held him down, in my opinion. Uh, you know, 230 passing yards. You know, that's not too bad when you consider they had negative three rushing yards and so that is the game this guy looked like he was ranking a little higher than me got a lot of points for it so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me show you the stats real quick just to give you a glimpse um and we'll show you um so a good game for ryan as far as touchdowns go four passing touchdowns but you see two picks and you know the defense creates turnovers that's our mo uh, and you see that we gave them the pass we took away the run you look at the running stats Four carries, negative three yards. Our running stats now. 14 carries, 167. We almost had two backs over 100 yards uh, today with our with our running game. You know, and 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 that's kind of the, the mo here. Matt Ryan accounted for 231 passing yards. Our running game was two over 250 yards. And you see here um, the effectiveness at which that was. Three touchdowns. Uh, like I said, Menzel not too shabby. A higher quarterback rating. Um, you know, only five incompletions. You know, really solid in my opinion. Threw that one interception, but uh, that was kind of that. We could have thrown more, but I.